What's up guys, it's Jen, welcome back. So today I'm gonna to be talking about five different products that'll help you to smooth out your skin's texture. And I actually did a blog post on this a couple of years ago before I started YouTube, and it was one of my most popular blog posts ever. So I decided to update it with a couple of new products that I found, although a few of them I'm gonna talk about today were in the original blog post, so they're still tried and true favorites. And before we jump in, I just wanna quickly say that nothing is gonna completely smooth out your skin's texture and make it look like those people you see on Instagram or here on YouTube it's just not gonna happen every single person on this planet has pores you know a varying size but they're gonna be there and in real life you're gonna see them now Instagram you know has Facetune a lot of people are using that to smooth out all of the texture in their skin and there's nobody in the world that really looks like that and the same thing for YouTube people are using filters or if they're not using filters even just having all of these bright lights around can smooth out all of those shadows make everything look really nice and even and you know we use the lights mainly just to light up the scene because if I didn't have lights on right now the picture would look incredibly dark and you wouldn't be able to see anything that I was holding up you wouldn't be able to see my makeup really well so that's why we use the lights but at the same time I do think it does people a disservice because you know a lot of people who are out there watching feel bad about themselves because I was one of those people and I know exactly how it feels before I started YouTube I would watch tutorials and watch people put this foundation on that made their skin look perfect and I would run right out and buy it and get it home and realize you know what this doesn't make my skin look good at all it looks cakey or it's settling into my pores and making my skin look worse why did it look so amazing on them and then I would feel bad about myself when in reality in real life they may have looked just like I did but on camera it's a completely different story so this is my PSA for the day please please do not think that the people you see on YouTube and Instagram do not have pores in their skin because they definitely do I'm actually gonna show you right now a close-up of my skin in natural lighting what it actually looks like and as you can see there are pores, my foundation doesn't look completely 100% smooth, my skin can look dry in some areas. So just please keep that in mind. But the products that I'm gonna show you today will definitely help if you have enlarged pores or rough or bumpy skin. They've definitely helped me out a lot and just help my foundation to look smoother and just make my skin look smoother and brighter overall. So why don't we go ahead and jump right in. So first up, when it comes to getting smoother skin, you have to start with skincare because you wanna create that smooth base to apply your makeup. So the first skincare I wanna talk about today is alpha hydroxy acids. These are an exfoliant that exfoliates the top layer of your skin, and my favorite product for smoothing out my skin is Pixi's Glow Tonic. I have this humongous bottle that they sent me. They actually had sent me another one just like this, which I finished. I just started this one now. I use this almost every single day. It's really gentle. It's 5% glycolic acid, but when I use it, it just helps to take that dead layer of flakes off of my skin and just makes my skin feel so super smooth. And by removing that top layer, it helps your other skincare products to penetrate a little bit deeper because if you have a dead layer of skin on the top they're not going to be able to penetrate down where you want them to go so this is amazing for that I think it's great another product that is a little bit less expensive is the Ordinary's glycolic acid this one is slightly stronger at 7% and because my skin is just getting more and more sensitive the older I get this one is slightly too strong for my face I feel a definite tingle when I use this that's a little bit uncomfortable so I mainly stick to the glow tonic if you're a little bit more sensitive I think you might have better luck with this one this one I actually use all over my body now on my arms and legs it gets rid of those KP bumps that are really annoying and it really does a great job at smoothing out my skin so I did want to mention this but if you don't have sensitive skin you might be totally fine with this one there are products that are even 10% glycolic acid and this isn't quite as strong as those so a lot of people can tolerate this just fine and a lot of people love it it's a really affordable option so I just wanted to bring it up um, but the pixie one is by far my favorite I've been using this for years and years and years I mentioned it in that original blog post and I still use it to this day and then the second product I want to talk about is another acid for your skin but this one is salicylic acid so the difference between a salicylic acid and a glycolic acid is that glycolic is an alpha hydroxy acid and salicylic is a beta hydroxy and when I first started working at Sephora we went to all these skincare classes and one thing that helped me remember the difference between the two was that they said salicylic acid cleans deep down 
down into your pores, while alpha hydroxies mainly exfoliate the top layer of your skin, just those dead flakes that are on the surface. And they actually taught me a cute little trick for remembering the difference. Um, instead of salicylic acid, think of it as Sally for short, Sally cleans. So Sally cleans deep down into your pores. I've never forgotten that in all of these years. I think I worked there back in 2004. So after all these years, I still remember that Sally cleans and then glycolic just exfoliates the top layer. There's no like cute little saying to go along with that one. And the reason that this one goes deeper is because salicylic acid is actually oil soluble while glycolic is water soluble. So glycolic acid can't penetrate the oils that are below the surface of your skin, that lipid barrier, but this one can. So this one can dissolve the keratin plugs that are clogging up your pores, anything that might be in there clogging, this will get it out. So I love this cleanser from CeraVe. It's the Renewing Essay Cleanser for Normal Skin. And I don't use this super often because I am really dry and you can overuse salicylic acid. If you use it too often when you have dry skin, you can definitely dry out your skin. I've done it before. I used to use a Murad cleanser with salicylic acid, which was a little bit stronger than this one. And I got flakes all over my face and I'm like, what's going on? It was because I was using it every single day. So I use this like maybe once or twice a week just to get a really deep down clean. But this one is really gentle. It's one of the most gentle salicylic acid cleansers I've tried. Um, it Claims to be non-drying, non-irritating. It also has ceramides to help kind of hydrate your skin a little bit. And CeraVe is just awesome if you have sensitive skin. This is also fragrance free. So this is a great option if you wanna get deep down into your pores, clean them out. It's great for people with acne, but even people like me who don't have breakouts and clogged pores on a regular basis, it's just good to kind of give your skin that deep clean, but it doesn't dry out your skin, so it's amazing. And then moving on to another product, this black sugar wash off mask from Skin Food has also been holy grail for me for probably the last five or six years. I also mentioned this in that blog post. Um, so this is a physical exfoliant while these are chemical. So I use this one about once a week. I'm more into chemical exfoliants now for the most part. Um, physical ones can be a little bit harsher on dry skin. So if you're oily, you can use these a little bit more often, but usually for dry skin, they recommend once, twice a week at the most. And this is a really effective scrub, but it's also very gentle because it contains sugar as the main exfoliant. So as you add water to it, it dissolves pretty quickly and it's not gonna be scrubbing your skin too much. Now you can either put this on dry skin and scrub it first and then add water for like a really super deep down clean or you can apply this to a wet face and those sugar grains will dissolve really quickly and then it won't be quite as harsh. So if you have more sensitive skin, I definitely recommend using this on a wet face. I still use it on a dry face even though my skin's a little bit more sensitive. I really love that deep down clean and it doesn't irritate me. And one of the reasons why I think is just because this has so many other hydrating ingredients. It has the consistency of, I would say like wet sand, but there's also something really emollient holding it all together that feels kind of like honey. So it's just a really luxurious scrub. And like I said, super effective. When I use this, my skin feels like glass. It's the smoothest it's ever been, and I love the feeling of my skin after this so much. I wish I could use it every single day, and it's hard to stop myself from doing that because even the next day, my skin is just so smooth and my makeup just goes on so nicely. So that's one reason that I absolutely love this scrub. Also, it's $10 at Ulta, so it's really affordable too. All right, so moving on to another amazing ingredient for smoothing out your pores is niacinamide. And if you watch my video on good molecules, I've been using this niacinamide serum, which is is only six dollars by the way I've been using this now for the last month and a half and in that video I did a trial using this for 30 days straight every single morning you can also use it morning and night but I was just using it once a day and the results that I had were incredible I'm gonna put up this before and after picture in case you didn't see that video um, of my pores before if you take a look at my cheek you can definitely see visible pores there also on my nose and then in the after picture my skin is so much smoother obviously you can still see my pores they're always going to be there but it shrunk them down so much and the way that this works is if you have enlarged pores due to age or the sun or just having blocked pores in general um, this helps to increase your skin's elasticity which helps the pores kind of snap back to the original size they were before which completely explains why it worked for me because I think just over time my pores have gotten stretched out as my skins become less elastic now that I'm older so that's why sometimes as people age their pores become larger. When I was a teenager, I had almost invisible pores. You had to get 
really up close to my skin to see them and now I can see them just you know looking from far away so this just helped them to get back to that size that they were before and it really worked amazingly so for a six dollar product I think it's so awesome I know that the ordinary has a niacinamide serum for a very similar price but from what I've heard about that one people said that it kind of feels sticky on the skin and this one didn't I didn't find any stickiness issues at all using this so that's why I originally tried this one instead of that one also polish choice makes a niacinamide booster which is a 10% just like this one it's a lot more expensive but it also has a lot of additional ingredients in it as well um, this one is basically just niacinamide at 10% some hyaluronic acid it's like a really simple formula but it worked amazing I've actually used the polish choice one way back when a few years ago and I love the results I got from it but I really didn't think it worked any better than this one and this one is so much more affordable so if you're looking for niacinamide to add to your routine I just highly recommend this one I think it's amazing and then once you have smoother skin due to the skincare another thing you can do to minimize your pores is using a pore filling primer so I just wanted to share my favorites with you really quickly so on the high end I would say my favorite is definitely the Tarte timeless smoothing primer this has just a really nice fluffy moussey texture to it it dries down matte it makes your skin look kind of airbrushed and flawless it's not going to completely get rid of pores like I said nothing does but it comes really really close makeup goes on amazing over this and then when it comes the drugstore versions a very very similar primer to that I've been talking about this one for years as well is the L'Oreal magic perfecting base this has almost exactly the same texture I would say it's a pretty close dupe for this one so if you're on a budget I would just grab this one even if you're not it's an amazing primer I've been using it for many many years I did talk about it in that original blog post um, and this one's almost empty so I need a new jar but just like the Tarte one this has a fluffy kind of soft whip texture it dries down matte makeup goes over it beautifully I don't find that it pills up on me at all I know some people complain of that but also I think pilling when it comes to primers has something to do with not being compatible with the foundation that you're using I have to look more into that but I recently heard something where people were saying that if you have like an oil-based foundation and a water-based primer they're not gonna mix well together and vice versa. So you wanna try to find something that has really similar ingredients in it. At least that's what I'm hearing, but I have to research that a little bit more and see if there's any truth to it. But um, this can be a little bit heavier on the skin as well. Um, in the summertime, sometimes it kind of feels like it's weighing my skin down a little bit. So lately I've been using this one from Milani and this is the Instant Touch Up Blur Stick. I've tried other blur sticks in the past, like the one from Milk Makeup, and I wasn't too impressed with it. I felt like it made my skin look dry and kind of cakey. This one makes my skin feel so smooth, yet it still has that matte finish to it, so it's not sticky or dewy. I've also been using this on my eyelids as well as an eyeshadow base, and it makes my shadow blend so much easier because it makes your skin feel so super smooth and it has that really nice matte finish, so your shadow isn't gonna grab to your eyelids at all. It's so, so good. I know it's been out a while, but I just recently picked it up at Walmart, and I'm obsessed with it. It's been my go-to primer all all summer long. So those were the five products, but before we go, I just have a couple more tips to help your skin look smooth when it comes to applying makeup. And the first one is to try to avoid anything that has too much shimmer or glitter in it. As I've gotten older and my pores have gotten bigger, if I use anything with shimmer, it really helps to accentuate the roughness of my skin. So this means any type of foundation that has a glow to it, like the Flower Beauty Light Illusion or the New Physicians Formula Healthy Skin. Those two, while I felt like they made me look really flawless when I was in the house, as soon as I went outside, my skin looked so shiny and shimmery because of the glow that's in there. And I used to love a dewy foundation, especially because I have such dry skin. But now that I have more visible pores, they just don't work well for me anymore even though they give me that glow my skin just looks kind of rough and bumpy especially right in this area so I skip those from now on and I basically use satin finish foundations I try not to go for matte ones as much because they can look a little bit more drying on my skin especially in the winter so a really nice matte or satin foundation is key if you have more textured skin same goes for glowy blushes and highlighters I pretty much stop using highlighter altogether because it just accentuates the texture on my skin skin so much and I feel like my skin just looks smoother when I don't wear it and once in a while I will use a glowy blush just because I like the way they look and if I get one that's finely milled enough it doesn't draw too much attention to it 
but more often than not I'm wearing a matte blush as well and also when it comes to foundation I found that less is definitely more if you have textured skin I know sometimes people are just trying everything they can to cover it up but it actually makes the texture look worse the more foundation that you pile on the more it's going to accentuate things that you don't want it to so I've been going with more of a sheer base for the most part and then just spot concealing areas that need a little bit more help like the redness around my nose underneath my eyes any you know blemish that I might have and then just even out the rest of my face with a really sheer foundation maybe sheer to medium coverage so if you have really textured skin try going a little bit lighter with your foundation rather than heavier because I think you'll really see a big difference all right guys so those are all my tips on smoothing out textured skin I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up also I'd love to hear your tips down below and how you deal with texture on your skin and what your favorite smoothing products are thank you all so much for watching please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video bye